Support for Radio Friends comes from Homestead Senior Care, providing trustworthy, kind-hearted senior home care services in your loved one's home. All caregivers are thoroughly screened, extensively trained, professional, and reliable. Homestead is all about providing the highest quality home care service to fit you and your family's needs. Plus, if you would be interested in becoming a caregiver, they offer great part-time positions. Give them a call at 573-442-4333 or check it out at homeinstead.com. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, October the 19th. We're going to start off first by talking about the 7th Annual Trivia Night. Gary Wonder is with us. Good to have you here, oh, Gary. Great to be here. And Thank Gary, you, you were uh, with the National Federation of the Blind. Yes, sir. Uh, you, you were on here, I think it was about what, five, six months ago, wasn't it? I was. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about the National Federation for the Blind. Well, you know, we do a lot of work with children. We've started a program for science, technology, engineering, and math, and I talked with you about that last time. But now we've discovered that we left out an important letter, which was A for art, so that puts the STEAM in STEM. Uh, study, but we realize that a lot of blind kids aren't getting art. They don't get art appreciation, they don't get tactile art, they don't get physical art described to them like paintings and other things, and mostly they don't learn how to create art. So one of our projects right now is to bring art to young blind kids. Um, and been, how, do you, how do you do that? Uh, we do it, uh, we've actually hired artists and we've said, how can you make what you do tactile? How can you put what you do into words? And how can you help our children learn how to do what you learned as a child? And most people think that art is innate, that uh, interpreting it, being able to see lines automatically means that you know how to interpret uh, pictures, but it's not true. You learn it. And so we've, we're hiring teachers to do this. It's mm -hmm. cool. And, and, and I, I would imagine that the benefit that you're having with the national, with the annual trivia night, this is to raise awareness and to raise money to accomplish this goal? Oh, absolutely. We got this and a bunch of other programs that we run, also r programs for adults. But yeah, the Trivia Night is to raise funds. It's our major fundraiser of the year for the National Federation of the Blind. So we try to bring out all the trivia buffs. We do eight rounds. We have 10 questions per round. Just as a fun thing, we read the questions in Braille since a lot of people don't know how Braille works and what it is. And then in between all of those rounds of questions, we play games like Dead or Alive, Heads and Tails. We have drawings for gift baskets. And then my wife says that I'm to tell you that we have the best chili in town. The best and chili I'll, in town. Yeah, and, and I'll, I'll bet you can guess who makes the chili, right? Your wife. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that will be the meal for trivia night, right? Absolutely. That all right, is so the... let, let's, let's give them the date and the time. It is? October the 28th. Uh, open, doors open at 5.30, trivia starts at 6.30. We're going to hold it at the Unitarian Universalist Church, which is at 2615 Shepherd Boulevard. Okay, and the cost per person is $20 per person, right? Yep, 15 if you're a student with an ID. And we have tables of eight. If you come with a table of eight, that's great. If not, we'll, we'll we like the people at Southwest. We'll say sit down and make yourself a new friend. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, if people want to come to this, do they register ahead of time or let you know ahead of time? That would be really helpful. We do take all the people at the door who want to come, but it would be helpful if we would know. How much chili to have. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So your wife she knows how many how many people she's cooking for. Exactly, that's so how right. Do they, how do they uh, get in touch with you ahead of time? If they give us a call, please, at 874-1774. Or you can they can email your wife at... Debbie, D-E-B-B-I-E, -E, Wonder, W-U-N-D-E-R, at charter.net. Absolutely. Right? Okay, but you can call Debbie at 874-1774. Call ahead of time so she knows how much chili to make for trivia night. Absolutely. And, and that'll be Octo Saturday, October the 28th, 2017, Unitarian Universalist Church on Shepherd Boulevard in Columbia. How much are you going to raise? Oh, I hope we'll raise thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars. Okay. Thank you very much, Gary. Thank it's you. Appreciate and please it. Please come back again. Okay. I'd love to.
Yeah, you know, we got Sue Thompson with us. Uh, Sue is with the South Howard County Historical Society, and you were here to tell us about something that's coming up uh, October the 21st, right? Yes, I am. We're going to be having a fundraiser, the Mo Mug Craft Beer Festival, mm -hmm. on the 21st from 4 to 7. It is to raise money to help preserve history right. in our area. We have a small museum and we work to try to keep it going and keep it up and to preserve the history in South Howard County, yeah. which is where the Santa Fe Trail started, if you don't know that. The Santa Fe Trail started in, in Howard County. In Howard so County. So when, when you come to the uh, Howard County Historical Society, is there a lot of information about the Santa Fe Trail? There is information about the Santa Fe Trail. There'll be information about the local schools. There'll be information about churches. Uh, there were forts in that area. There's information about the forts. There's family histories. So there's a lot of information that you can gather in the museum when you come. Yeah, uh, it's, it's really very interesting because many of the small, smaller communities in our area have such a history that a lot of people are not aware of. We also have a music history. Sarah Evans came from our area. and. Uh -huh. If you know the Missouri Waltz, uh, Jelly Settle, who was the uh, original writer of the music for the yeah. Missouri Waltz, came well, from there. Well, I knew Sarah Evans came from mm -hmm. because Sarah Evans was on our Pepper and Friends show yes. when she was just a little girl. About 10. She, yeah, she, she had was her a, first record do you when remember she was about that? 10. Yes. Yeah, she, she, she's, yeah, uh, I didn't remember her age, but it was I, about 9 or 10 years old. She was on Pepper and yes, Friends. Yes, she was. So, so we can say we gave her her story. Mm, that's right. You can. <laughs> you can. All right. So you're having the Mo Mug Craft Beer. Mm -hmm festival. So yes. what are you going to be doing with this? Okay, so this is our third annual event and what we do is we have different brewers downtown and we also have a distillery this year who will let you sample the things that they make. So we have um, Skull Splitters is coming, Abita, O'Fallon, Cathedral Square, Burr Oak, Wild Ginger, Hard Sodas is coming and then we have several others who are to be named yet that we mm -hmm. don't know for sure who they so are. So do you, 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 you pay a one? You pay a fee and you get a glass, $15, and you get a glass and you go around and they let you sample the different beers with and that the same glass. with that same glass. Yeah. Okay, so for 15 bucks you can sample all that. And you can also learn how to make beer this year too. We have okay. a home beer demonstrator, oh, David okay. Page out of Kansas City is coming. He's with DP Brewing. So how much money are you hoping that you'll raise for the South Howard County Our historical? goal is to try to raise about $2,500. Okay. So we generally have not quite hit that mark yet. We're hoping this will be the year. Okay, hopefully you will. So mark it on your calendar. It is October the 21st. Is that, that's a Saturday, isn't it? Yes, it is. Saturday from 4 to 7 p.m. downtown New Franklin, Missouri. Yes, an outdoor activity. So it's all outdoors. Mm -hmm. So right and on Main Street there. If it's raining... If it's raining, bring your rain gear, but come on anyway. We're still going to have We're it. Have We're it. still having it. Okay, uh, 4 to 7 p.m. in downtown New Franklin. It'll be fun and food and music. Zach Simpson, if you've heard of him, he's, uh -huh. he's coming to do the music. He was the uh, brother in law of Sarah Evans. Oh, so. well, maybe you can call Sarah and tell her to come back. Ask well, her to come back. We, we would like that, but she's <laughs> kind of tied a lot of times with her agent. So. All right. Thank you so much, Sue. It's a pleasure having you here. I haven't seen you for a long time. It's good yeah. to have you on radio. And I didn't bring all those kids this year, so you're lucky. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. We'll okay, see you thank next you. time. Bye-bye.